this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. We're going to be using uh, brushes on the gel press today and then we're going to be spritzing some water to give us a really nice effect. You can of course use brushes straight onto the multi-ferrous cards but I find this way a little less messy. So we've got ultramarine here, so I'm going to just pop a little bit of that down. As we know, we don't need much at all of the brusho. And we've got gamboge here. So again, I'm just sprinkling that over the top of the gel press. And then we've got water, and we're just going to spritz that over the top. And then taking the multifarious card, just pop that straight over. Let's move this to the side. And now I'm going to add a little bit more water just to fill in those gaps. And if the colour is too strong, just run it off the edge, keep adding water and just keep mopping that up with a bit of tissue. Now if you're going to do this technique, it's always worth doing a batch of these all at once and then let them dry and then you've got the cards then ready to go as soon as they're all dry. But I always think get messy the once and then you can stamp to your heart's content. So I'm going to dry this off now. And you can see the multi ferrous card is great for this technique. It really does hold its shape even though we've thrown a lot of water at it. It's a good thick cardstock that's very smooth, so it's great for stamping as well. And then we can now stamp over the top. I've got the unicorn here, so I'm going to stamp him up in the nocturne. Make sure he's completely covered and then we'll pop him down around about there. Give him a good press. And now we've got our lovely little hair. And we're going to ink him up in the black as well. Now I'm going to just pop this down, this mask, just to ground them. So I'm just covering the hooves of our unicorn and then using the nocturne again. And this time, just a stencil brush, I'm going to go over the edge. And that will just simply ground the animals. Next up, we're going to use a mask. This is our moon mask. We're going to pop that just over the head of the unicorn. And then taking our white pen, this is our um, uniball. Um, this is a white, it's a very fluid white, but it's a nice solid white that will go over the top of anything. So I'm just going up to the horse's mane, all the way round, and up to the nose of the unicorn. And now using the pan pastels, we've got our little applicator here, 
and I'm going to pick up the white and I'm just going to blend up to the white line all the way around. And then I'm just going to blend in towards the middle. I don't want to make it too white, too stark. So less is more. I think that gives you a really nice moon effect especially that lovely white edge. So I've still got a little bit of white on the edge here and I'm just going to go round the bottom here where the unicorn's standing. And all I'm doing is just highlighting where they're standing and that just pulls the image out so you can see that really makes it stand out now next thing I'm going to add a little bit of foliage And I'm inking up in the Nocturne again. And I'm just popping a little at the top here. And then we've got a verse. pop that down just at the top there so our verse we've got the wind blows cold and the air is freezing the snow falls down whilst the animals are sleeping bare trees stand tall the shadows fall Dusk is here and surrounds us all. But the moonlight befriends us and glows bright right, white. We can now find a path on this dark, dark night. Lastly, I think I'm going to just use Posca pen, I think. Maybe a bit of the yellow. And I'm just popping a few dots about gives it a little bit of magic doesn't it little coming down from the trees and we'll add a little bit of glitter to that as well taking the glue pen along the edge just a very fine line and a little bit in the foliage hanging down. So 
So I've got vintage shimmer here. I'm going to just pop that over the top. I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration. You take care and we'll see you real soon.